All-American Aaron Millette. He's more than just your average receiver. He's he's a funny guy. He's a very outgoing guy. Uh, he uh, he likes to crack jokes uh, on, on players, on coaches, on, on just about everybody. But he, he's a good outgoing guy. He's a great person, um, outstanding athlete on the field, but but off the field, he's a, he's a good person. He's got great athletic ability. He's got great size. He's got great hands. He's got great. I mean, he's he's got he's got a little bit of everything to him. But his ability to go get the ball when it's up in the air. Uh, with defenders around him is, is one of his one of his best attributes. But it's not just his physical ability that makes him so valuable. It's the fact that he always performs in clutch situations. It's huge. It really is. Um, knowing that we're going to put him in a position to make a play on third and, and third and long or third and medium to uh, make a catch is really big. We put him in a position to make plays, and uh, when he's in a position and he, and he has the ability to make the play, he's going to more times than not uh, and make that play. The fact that he is given so many opportunities has him thinking big this year. I like to cross the thousand yard receiver mark again. I mean, that would be something pretty cool. And he's off to a great start, having already won two National Wide Receiver of the Week awards. But Aaron knows he needs to be more than just a target. I'm trying to be more vocal this year. I mean, most of the guys on the team know I'm not a vocal guy. I like to just lead by actions or just stay quiet and I'm not take much of a leadership role. But this year, I feel like with the younger receivers, that we have to count on, have to be more vocal and, and help them progress throughout the season. We have a lot of good receivers around him, and that kind of helps him because it's not they're not the defense is not just focused on him. They're focused on everybody. I mean, they have an, they have a attention on him because he's he's one of the better receivers. But but having receivers around him really helps him out a lot too. The other receivers out there running routes to get me open, as if I was to get them open, and our O line is blocking, and Thomas is just luckily to find me. His early success has been drawing comparisons to Elon's legendary wide receiver, Terrell Hudgens. Uh, that's a great comparison. I mean, the things he did, I mean, I'm, I'm not going to be able to reach those more than likely. I mean, but it's cool just to be compared to one of the greatest receivers to ever come through here and play college football. I mean, it's an honor, and I am just hope the comparisons continue. So he's heading in the right direction. Um, he's putting up good numbers, and uh, putting up great numbers, I should say. And uh, if he keeps it up, uh, we're going to be able to win a lot of football games, and, uh, and that's the plan. Through the first five games, the Phoenix stand at 3-2, and two, with Aaron having amassed nearly 700 yards and five touchdowns. We hope the success continues. For the Elon Phoenix Weekly, I'm Scarlett Fakar.